In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can copy data from one worksheet to another in Microsoft Excel. Okay, I have a worksheet here in sheet one and I have another worksheet here, sheet two. Okay, now I want to copy this row. So let's say I am placing my cursor in cell C3 or I want to place anywhere. If I place here my cursor, it doesn't matter. So all I'm going to do in this tutorial, I have placed my cursor in any row. And if I run a macro or if I press a keyboard shortcut, I want that entire row copied and go to sheet 2 and paste to the next empty row like this. Okay, so what I have done. I first selected an empty cell or whatever cell I want and then I copied the entire row of that active cell and then I copied it to the other worksheet. Okay. And every time I want to do this, I want to run a macro or I'm going to create a keyboard shortcut for this. And whenever I press that keyboard shortcut, that data will be transferred to that other worksheet. This is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. If you are new to me and this channel, I talk about Excel all the time. And in this channel, I will be uploading Excel tutorial every day. So make sure you subscribe and let's get started. <laughs> Now before starting, I would like to thank Jenny, Mr. Forst, Robin, Brianna for supporting the channel through Patreon. Thank you very much. And if you want to support the channel, here is the link. Now let's create a macro to transfer data from this worksheet to the other worksheet, which is from sheet one to sheet two. And I'm going to do this using the macro recorder. I have talked about a lot on macro recorder. You can check that here in our VBA programming course. So you will get the basic idea of the macro recorder from there. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the advanced use of macro recorder. Okay, so first click on the developer tab here now you can see here record macro and there is another option use relative references so again you can learn that from the video i have linked let's say i'm going to copy the first one this row to the next worksheet okay so click on the record macro button and give it a name i'm going to name it copy to sheet so this is the macro name and I'm going to create a keyboard shortcut or I'm going to assign a shortcut key here. I have already control here. Then if I press shift and C. So this is our keyboard command control shift C to run this macro. And if I click OK, our macro has started recording. OK, so this is our active cell in C2 and I'm going to copy the entire row to the next worksheet. So right click here and click on copy and click on sheet 2. Now click on cell A1 and press control and down arrow. So this is the last row that is used here. OK, now if I select here use relative references, click here and now if I press on the down arrow, so what it is doing is going to the next empty row. OK, so first we are selecting the last row and then we are moving down one row. So this is our next empty row. And if I paste the data here, control V, so our row is here. Now we get back to the sheet one. OK, so this is the entire process and I'm going to stop recording. And here is the code. So this is the code it has generated okay now you can see here the rows is absolute so if i run this code every time it's going to move the second row from sheet one and paste it to the next empty row of sheet two but i want it changed so if i write here active cell entire row select like this so i just changed the code so that means it will select the enter row of any active cell okay now this line we don't need it so we are going to select the entire row of an active cell using this line and then we are going to copy that selection okay then we are going to go to the sheet 2 then we will go to the range a1 and then we go to the last use cell and then we move to the next empty row and then we paste and at last we get back to our first worksheet okay so our keyboard shortcut is Control shift c now if i close this and let's say i'm going to copy this row okay how i can do that if i select this cell or any cell and if i click on macro and click on this run button you can see it has copied 
and if I select here sheet 2 you can see that data has been transferred here okay so again let's say I'm going to click my cursor here and I'm going to run the keyboard shortcut which is Control shift and C you can see it has been copied and if I click here sheet 2 the data has been transferred so this is how you can copy or transfer data from one worksheet to another you can create a button around here let's create a quick button here uh, click on insert click on shapes this is our button let's say and name the button here and right click here and select assign macro select this one copy to sheet and click ok our macro is assigned now you can design your button according to your needs i'm just doing this simple work so again place my cursor anywhere and it's going to copy this entire row okay so if i click here this row has been copied and it has been pasted here and this is an awesome tutorial this is an awesome tricks you can use this according to your need you can use macro recorder whenever you want and in this way if you follow this technique or you can create a lot of macros by yourself thank you thanks for watching this is what i wanted to show you hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any problem let me know and if you still can do it you need the code please check in the description and sign up the form i will send you the code thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and if you can please support the channel thank you